Apple has released tons of new products and features this year in 2022. So today I wanna to show you our favorite tips, tricks, and hidden features on all of these Apple products like the iPhone 14, the Apple Watch Ultra and Series 8, and the new AirPod Pro. All these features are gonna allow you to walk away from this video like an Apple expert. So without further ado, let's dive into today's video, our favorite tips, tricks, and hidden features on all of the Apple products and features that have recently been released. The iPhone 14 has brought tons of new features to the table, but the best and newest feature is the addition of the dynamic island which is located right here at the top of my screen and the dynamic island is a combination of hardware and software that will bubble up when you activate certain features on your iphone and to start off this video i want to show you a little bit about how this works so for example i'm going to connect to my airpod pro second generation and as you see once i put my airpod in my ear you're going to see the dynamic island bubble up just like that to show that they're connecting to my iphone at the moment you're going to see that these are now connected to my phone right here through the dynamic islands even going to tell me the percentage of battery left with these AirPods, but there's tons of features with the Dynamic Island that I wanna show you, so let's dive right into all of them. I also wanna show you another feature with the Dynamic Island on this iPhone 14, because I think it is so cool. So say you wanna play a song, for example, if I go to my playlist and click this song, I'm just gonna turn down the volume so we don't hear it. And if we exit out of the music app, you're gonna see right at the top, it's gonna show that music playing through my home screen on my iPhone, not on the music app. So I think this is super cool, and you can actually see what you're listening to right here at the dynamic island and if you want to go back to that you just tap that right here it's going to take you back to the music app showing you the song right here then if we exit out and then hold down again you're gonna be able to have the option to click and go to different songs that are on your playlist as well and you also have the option if you click right here you're going to choose what that audio is going to come out of right now it's only my iphone but if you have a pair of headphones it'll come out of those as well and then if we go back right here you're going to see you can skip go back pause and then you can do anything you want essentially with this dynamic island and your iphone i think it's super cool and it's really going to come into action when you start using your music receiving notifications calls facetimes whatever that may be you can use that with the dynamic island on your iphone 14. iphone 14 also introduces an all-day battery life which is a brand new feature for this new phone and it allows up to 23 hours of video playback for the iphone 14 pro that i have and i believe it's 29 hours of video playback for the iphone 14 pro max so this is a great new battery addition for the iPhones. It stays supercharged. And remember, you can always just charge it using this right here or using a magnetic charger with a MagSafe compatibility on the back of your screen. But as you can see right now, we have our battery icon right here. And if I scroll down to my control center, you're going to see it shows the battery percentage. But if you don't want to see that and you want to see the specific number right off the bat, you can actually change this in settings. So if we go to settings to change our battery, it's super easy to do. You just go down to battery right here. And it's going to show these options you can choose from. We have battery percentage, which is turned off. But if I turn that on, what I was saying is now you can see the number of that battery percentage right here on this battery icon. It shows 94. I definitely recommend this because in previous iOS updates, they actually show the percentage and they took it away after that. But with iOS 16, you can now have this option to show the battery percentage again. And I like to have that on so I can just see the number so I get an idea of when I need to charge it. Then as I'm sure you guys are all aware, you know of a low power mode, which will turn on and actually help you save battery when your phone's starting to get low and you don't have a charger available to charge your phone at the moment. So first, if you wanna edit your lock screen that you currently have, all you have to do is just hold down on it like this and you can click customize right here. So now we have tons of options to choose from like changing the font, the color and adding certain widgets. So for example, if I want to change the color of my text right here, I can just click on that and I can choose the font and color. They have offered tons of fonts like all of these right here, tons to choose from. And then you can also slide to choose different colors you want for that specific font. You can choose all of these colors right here and say you don't want to choose any of those colors. You can always just go to this ring right here and choose from a spectrum, grid or sliders. So say for example, I wanna choose a red slider. I can just always move this up or down depending on my preference. And this is one of the colors you can choose, but there's tons to choose from. You can essentially edit your lock screen in any way with all of these colors. And you can also choose what widgets you want to be shown on your lock screen. Right now you can see I have my calendar, the weather, and my battery percentage for my iPhone. But if we tap right here, you're gonna see all the widgets you can add and remove. So say I wanna remove my weather, for example, and I wanna add my alarm clock instead, I can just click that right here and now my 7:45 a.m alarm is going to pop up right on my lock screen then if you want more options to choose from you can choose any of these that you prefer tons of widgets to choose from and i definitely recommend trying them and personalize it to your needs and you can also choose the color of your lock screen so right now we have deep purple which is the color of the iphone that i got but if we just swipe over you're going to see we have gold 
silver, and space black. And if we click these three dots down here, you have the option to have a depth effect as well. This will just show it in more detail, which I definitely recommend because it has an incredible display. And if we click done right here, you're going to see this option as well. We have the option to set the wallpaper as a pair. So this will be the color and display of my lock screen and my home screen as well. And say you want to customize your home screen in a different way, there's no worries there. You can actually choose a different option for your home screen, but I'll dive into that later. Now, if you want to create a new lock screen or switch between lock screens you also all you have to do is just hold down your lock screen you can see i have tons i've already created but if we want to create a new one you can either click this plus button or swipe right here and click add a new so by adding new there's tons of wallpapers to choose from we have anywhere from photo shuffle emoji and the featured i'm going to walk you through some of my favorites right now so one of the coolest options i think is the emoji option so you can actually have emojis as your background of your lock screen if you scroll down to this emoji section right here they're going to give you a few that they recommend all of these options, but if you wanna create your own, you just scroll back up to the top like this, click emoji, and now you can choose any emoji that you want and that you like and add that as your lock screen. So for example, this was a combination of emojis I used to create this lock screen right here, and I put it in a blue background, but you can essentially edit your emojis in any way and choose from the options they give you, like this one, for example. Completely up to you, but this is a brand new feature on the wallpapers with iOS 16 that I definitely recommend checking out. And if we go back to create new, I also wanna show you one of my other favorites, which is also the photo shuffle. So with photo shuffle, it's essentially a dynamic set of photos that shuffle as you use your iPhone throughout the day and you can actually change the shuffle frequency so i have mine set to hourly but you can change this right here by choosing on tap lock hourly or daily so i want to do on tap for example and they give me recommended photos to use so let's click use featured photos right here so now this is the first photo in my photo shuffle and if i want to tap i can see all the other photos that are going to be featured in this photo shuffle as you can see apple chose the best pictures i have taken to have as my background i included nature and cities and then also on top of this, if you want to add any widgets or change the font, you can definitely do that as well. And now every time you use this photo shuffle, every time you tap your screen, it's going to change that lock screen right here. And say you don't want all of these photos that are shown to be featured in this photo shuffle, you can click these three dots right here and you can actually have this photo specifically not featured and you can turn that off. So now this photo won't be featured and you can choose which ones you want to have featured on this lock screen, which I think is super cool. And all these photos are great. So I definitely recommend trying it if you like taking photos and have some high quality ones you can choose the black and white option duo tone color wash any of these options you can choose from with your lock screen on your iPhone and iOS 16. So texting using iMessage on your iPhone is pretty self-explanatory and I'm sure you all have a good idea of how to use it. But with iOS 16, there's some brand new features on the iOS update that you can actually use with text message. And one of those is to be able to unsend or edit text messages after you send them. And I wanna show you how to do this because it's about time they brought this feature to text message. I think it's super cool and it's very useful. So I wanna show you how this works. So if I type in hi, right now and click send all i have to do is just hold down on that sent message and i have the option to undo send or edit send so i'm going to click undo send right here and now that's going to disappear and the person i sent that message to they won't see that text message either it will be completely erased it says you unsent a message so if they're not updated to ios 16 they still might be able to see the message but by this time i'm sure everyone's going to be updated to ios 16 soon enough so they won't be able to see that unsent message but i also want to show you how to edit a text message as well so say i type hi again and like that, and then I hold down on that button again, I can actually edit this message and change what I wanna say. So I can say, hi, how are you instead? And now that text message will be edited and I just click send right here. And now it's gonna be edited. It's gonna show that it's been edited and it might show that on the person you sent that to as well. But this is how you can unsend and edit a text message on iMessage. Like I said, I'm glad they brought this feature to the iPhone. It's about time. It comes in very handy if you mess up a message or need to unsend something. And say someone sends you a message in a different language or if you wanna translate your text message to a different language, you can do that as well on iMessage. All you have to do is hold down this text and go to translate right here. And now you can choose what language you want to choose right now. We have Spanish right now where it's going to say hola como estas based on hi, how are you? You can copy this translation. You can choose a different language and you can add to favorites or open and translate itself. And you can definitely do this any way you want with this iMessage and just translate any text message or see what they're saying in a different language through this feature on your iMessage app on your iPhone 14. Right now we're looking at one of the photos I took of my Apple Watch and with iOS 16 and my iPhone 14, you can actually lift a subject from that photo 
and send that without sending the background. And this might be confusing at first, but I wanna show you how this works. So you're gonna see if I hold down on the Apple Watch, it's gonna lift from the background here. And if I let go, I'm gonna have the option to copy this right here. Now I wanna show you what this is all about. If I go to my text messages right here and then go to this specific person and click paste right here, it's gonna show the iPhone or the Apple Watch that I lifted from that photo without the background and I can send that to this specific person without having to show the background. This is a super cool feature that is brand new on iOS 16 and it's a way you can just lift certain subjects from that photo so you can have that shown without the background. I think it's super cool. Now you can get to see this without the background. I definitely enjoy it. It's a brand new feature for iOS 16 that I definitely recommend trying out. Also scan certain texts and subjects from photos using your text message as well. And I wanna show you how to do this. If we hold down right here and click this right here, this icon, you're gonna see that my camera pops up and say I wanna scan a certain text of an object that I have, like this deodorant right here. All I have to do is just put my camera right here and now you can see that Harry's pops up, which is the name of this product. All I have to do is now that this has popped up in my text message, I can just click send right here. And if I wanna scroll down and choose odor or sweat control as well, I can choose that and just click send as well right here. And this is one way you can actually scan any products or text right from your camera on your iPhone 14. I definitely recommend trying that if you wanna show someone a product that you're buying or any other text that you wanna show on a picture, you can scan that and send them directly through your iMessage like I just did on my iPhone 14. If you're still using old fashioned, slow charging and messy lightning charging cables, it is time for you to say goodbye to those. Your phone has incredible MagSafe technology built right into it, which allows you to wirelessly and magnetically charge your devices. If you're going to invest so much money into an iPhone, then you should be giving yourself a premium experience, which all starts with something that you need to do every day, and that is charging your actual device. Get the absolute most out of your iPhone with Elgear's 2-in-1 Lightning Charging Stand. This stand allows you to magnetically and wirelessly charge both your iPhone and your AirPods simultaneously. Place your phone anywhere on the sleek charging stand and you're going to feel that magnet automatically attach right to your phone. Elgear wanted to make sure that you can use your phone for all of its uses without having to take it off the stand, which is why they included dual coil technology so you can use your phone both vertically and horizontally in landscape mode. This means that you can still send your messages, emails, or anything else, or you can flip your phone sideways and watch your favorite videos and movies while your phone is still being charged in the background. This stand is made with the highest quality materials like metal and tempered glass, and they also put non-slip silicone on the bottom of the stand. Elgear used official MagSafe technology, so you never need to worry about your phone falling off the stand or having to fidget around with your phone to get it in the right position. As I already mentioned, this is a two-in-one lightning charging stand, so you can charge two devices at the same time by using the second wireless charger on the back of this stand. This is perfect for charging a pair of headphones or even a second iPhone. Wait no longer and finally go upgrade your charging experience by going to lgear.com, stop using those old fashioned slow charging and messy lightning cables and upgrade to the two in one lightning charging stand that's perfect for your desk or your nightstand and it's also being sold at an incredibly discounted rate. So go to lgear.com, the link's on the screen and down in the description, enjoy. Now we have the action button which is a brand new feature on the Apple Watch Ultra. None of the previous Apple Watches have this. So let's talk about the action action button and what it can do and how you can customize it to your needs. With the action button, you can choose what you like for the action button to do. They give you tons of options right off the bat. So we have workout, stopwatch, waypoint, backtrack, dive, and flashlight. So depending on what you want your action button to do when you click it, which is right here, you can choose any of these options. I'm going to click workout because I think it's a useful tool for the action button. So let's click continue right here. And next it's going to take us to this depth section in the settings where which the death app can actually automatically open up underwater and measure temperature, time, and depth. This is also a brand new feature on the Apple Watch, and I think it's super useful if you like to scuba dive or go underwater and swim a lot. So we have the option to click open depth app when submerged. So now your Apple Watch Ultra will know when you're submerged underwater with this depth app. So I think it's a super useful tool. So let's click that right here. And now we also have this diving safety, just gives you a little heads up about underwater activities are risky. So just be safe when you're using this depth app with your Apple Watch Ultra. Let's click continue right here. So 
So earlier on in this video, I showed you when we set up the action button, which is brand new on the Watch Ultra. When I hold down or click that action button, it's actually gonna start a workout and I can choose any of these workouts that I wanna do at the moment. So watch what happens when I click this right here. You're gonna see it's gonna take me to the workout app on my Apple Watch Ultra. And now I can choose tons of options on this workout app to choose any of these. We have indoor walk, outdoor run, indoor run, outdoor cycle, tons of options to choose from. Essentially any workout you wanna do, you can find on your Apple Watch Ultra. This is also the same case with the Apple Watch Series 8 and previous Apple Watches. The fitness app is a great tool because it offers almost every single workout you can imagine right here on this app. They even have basketball and like soccer. It's super cool. So that's my action button. Like I said, you can customize this later on or depending on what you want to have that action button do. But this is mine right here. It takes me to my workouts, but this is a super cool feature that I brought to the table with the Apple Watch Ultra. So right now, I just want to show you a little bit about how some of the buttons on the Apple Watch work right here. So for example, we have the digital crown right here and on the lock screen showing the clock that I have set as my lock screen on my Apple Watch Ultra. If I twist this, it's actually gonna increase or decrease the brightness depending on the moment in time. So if I move it upward, it's gonna start to get dimmer, but if I move it back like this, it's gonna start to get brighter. So depending on how bright you want your screen to be shown, you can just twist this digital crown here and that's actually gonna affect the brightness of your screen. I like it where it's at right now, but if you want to decrease this, all you have to do is just turn it down just like this. So there's a few new apps that come with the Apple Watch Ultra that are brand new that I wanna talk about. And the first one is Sirens. Now I already previously explained to you how Sirens sirens work. But if you click on this app right here, it's going to show you the sirens battery percentage, which is at 75%, which is the same as your Apple watch. And say you fall down, you're in an emergency situation and you need others to hear you and you can't speak. You actually can turn on the siren and that'll alert people around you to get some assistance and help. You can also do emergency calls as well, but listen to the noise. When I click this place button right here, you're going to see it's very loud and it actually can help bring people towards you. If you're in a situation where you need some help. And as you can see, as it goes around before the time's up, it gets louder and louder. So the louder it gets, the more likely people will be able to help you out. So I definitely recommend turning that on when you're in any situation where you're gonna need some assistance if you fall down or you can't speak. Just turn on the Sirens app right here through your Apple Watch. It comes in very handy in those certain situations. But let's go back to the apps right here. Now, school time's actually a brand new feature that comes with the Apple Watch Ultra. It's a brand new icon in your control. So I just want to talk to and bring it up to you guys. So for school time, school time blocks apps and complications. It also turns on do not disturb mode. Emergency calls and notifications will still break through. And to exit school time, just turn the digital crown. So essentially, if you're in class or you're in some sort of study hall, you can actually turn on school time so you don't have any distractions. It'll turn on do not disturb so you can focus and increase your productivity. So that's one new feature on the Apple Watch Ultra, but let's dive into the rest of them. So the next thing I want to talk about is actually changing, customizing, and adding new faces to your Apple Watch Ultra. As you can see, since I just set up, this is the the only one I have at the moment, but there's tons of new features and faces they offer with this new watch. And I want to show you some of these and how you can customize your Apple Watch's face according to your preference. So for example, if we hold down on the screen, just like this, it's going to zoom out and it's going to show the specific face that I have at the moment. And I can edit this in any way that I want. So if I click edit right here, now I have a few options to choose for the style. So right now we have minute right here. And if I scroll on my digital crown, just like this upwards, basically I have a new option to choose for the style. I have hour and I have minute. So I'm going to keep minute like this just for the sake of this video. We can scroll left and we can choose the bezel right here. So this is my latitude and longitude option. And then you also have, this is the only option you actually have for the specific watch. The other one is none. So I'm going to keep it at latitude and longitude just like that. And then we also have the color. So you can choose from tons of different color options. Essentially any color that you want, you can choose with the specific Apple watch. All these options are going to show you before you actually make that your specific face. But I like the one we're at. But if you want to choose any of these other colors, you can gladly do so. Then lastly, we have complications. So right now we have a few complications we can look at. I have my timer on the bottom left. I have my activity on the bottom right. And I also have the UV index on the top and I can change any of these depending on what I want to add. Like I said, I like where this one is at. I think this watch face is actually super cool. So I'm going to keep all these changes the same, but this is one of the options you can choose for your Apple Watch Ultra's face. So now if you want to add a new face to your Apple Watch, you do it in a similar fashion to customizing. So if we hold down on the screen just like this, 
then scroll right, you'll have the option to add a new face just by clicking this plus button right here. So if we do that, you can look at all the new watch faces. They have some standard ones that come with the previous Apple watches as well all these right here, but let's look at the new watch faces because I actually haven't taken a look at these yet. And I'm sure some of them are super cool. So we have our standard astronomy, we have lunar, metropolitan, modular, playtime, and we also have portraits and wayfinder. So I have the wayfinder in right now, but for example, if we want to add a modular right here, we can click add right here and we can choose the background like we did with the previous watch face. And then you can scroll, you can look at the color and the other complications that come with it. And you can choose these according to your needs. But this is how you add new watch faces, continuing adding them right here just by clicking this plus button, and adding a new one. And then say you want to change between them. All you have to do is hold down and swipe and choose which one you want at that specific moment. I'm going to keep the Wayfinder run because that's the brand new one that we have on the Apple Watch Ultra. But this is how you choose some of the faces. And also on top of this, you can also choose new faces on the iPhone itself. I'll show you the watch app later on in this video and all the customizations you can do with that. This is how you choose faces and customize them on your Apple Watch Ultra. Did you know you can actually use your Apple Watch Ultra to help wash your hands and set a timer for how long you need to wash your hands? If you go to settings and go to hand washing right here, it's actually gonna say your Apple Watch can detect when you're washing your hands and start a 20 second timer. So now whenever you put your hands under a sink to wash your hands, the Apple Watch Ultra will actually pick that up and start a timer for 20 seconds, which is the standard amount of time you should wash your hands for. And it'll actually let you know when you're done washing your hands and that 20 20 seconds is up. So I recommend turning this on just to get an idea of how long you're washing your hands for so you can have that standard 20 second time when doing so. And if we scroll down right here, you can actually turn on hand washing reminders as well. And you can receive a notification if you haven't washed your hands within a few minutes of returning to your house. So you can turn this on, but this is a super cool feature if you want to help wash your hands using your Apple Watch Ultra. I want to take a quick break from the video to introduce to you guys Rakuten, the best app to get cash back and other great deals. With Rakuten, you're going to be able to Shop at stores you love and earn great rewards and other great deals just by using this app. And also with our exclusive link with Rakuten, you're going to be able to earn an additional $30 just by using it. So I'm going to show you guys how to access that link and earn your free $30 right now. Claim your free $30 from Rakuten using this exclusive link. All you want to do is just go to Safari or any web browser you have and type in bit.ly slash get ebates bonus. That is bit.ly slash get ebates bonus. Now that's in the link in the description as well of this video. And it's on the screen right here. So make sure to check those out to find it at the end of this video. But this link is exclusive to App Find. So you only can get this $30 from using this link. So we made sure to get you guys the best rewards possible through this partnership. And you guys are also supporting our channel by doing this. So I want to thank you guys for that. But let's click on the link right here. It'll be in the description, like I said. And it's going to take you to this page, and it's going to say, All I can buy is to get $30 once you join and spend $30. So all you have to do is just create an account on Rakuten, which is completely free, no charges or costs involved. And once you spend that $30 on Rakuten, you're going to get a free additional $30 on top of that. So it's a win-win because you're going to be able to get free $30 and you're gonna be able to get cash back while shopping at your favorite stores. So all you have to do is just put in your email and create a password and then you are good to go with this exclusive link with Rakuten. For using our exclusive link, I wanna show you guys the Rakuten app. It is right here. It is super easy to use and navigate. It has up to 3,500 plus stores where you can earn cash back and other great rewards. So odds are that if there's 3,500 plus stores, one of these are gonna be your favorite stores to shop at. So you're losing money if you would essentially do not download this app and use our exclusive link to get that extra $30. But as you can see, there's tons of different sections to choose from. Stores are members to love. For example, we got Macy's and Walmart. At Macy's, you can earn 10% cash back other great deals in the category section. So if you have a specific category you want to look into for sports and goods or health and beauty or any of these, you can gladly go to do that on this category section. But if we click on sports and outdoors, for example, we're going to see Lululemon, Athleta, Adidas, all these other stores right here where you can earn cash back. We're going to click on Lululemon. It's going to show you the 2% cash back right here and more information. It's going to tell you when it expires. It's going to show you these top coupons. But this is just one of the categories of many Anything you want to shop, essentially Rakuten will have that. So you guys definitely got to download this app. You're losing out on money if you aren't using Rakuten. 
and think, keep in mind that you're also going to get an additional $30. So you're overall saving tons of money by using our exclusive link and using Rakuten in general. And do not miss out on this opportunity, guys. Enjoy. The AirPod Pro second generation have tons of new features, but as you can see, they have a pretty similar structure with the case to the previous AirPods Pro. However, they do have a new and improved battery life. So now you can listen to up to 30 hours of listening time for just a single charge, which is super convenient and efficient. They also have a new lanyard loop right here. So you can attach a lanyard and loop it to your bag, wallet, whatever you need to do to carry these AirPods with you. And also also similar to other AirPods, these are also IPX4, sweat and water resistant. So you can get them wet, you can get some sweat on them, there's no worries there, they'll be completely fine. So right here on the stem of the AirPod Pro second generation, you can actually click it or move it to activate certain controls. And I wanna show you some of these basic features to start off. So for example, if you wanna play a song, all you have to do is just click the AirPod stem once just like this. And as you can see right here, my music pops up. If I hold that down, you're going to see it's playing. And if I want to pause it, all I have to do is click it again, just like this. You can also control the volume on the stem of the AirPods by simply swiping up or down. If you swipe down, it's going to reduce the volume. And if you swipe up, it's going to increase the volume. So right here, as you can see, if I press play, and then I start moving my finger down like this, you're gonna see the volume starts to decrease. And if I do it the opposite way, it's gonna start to increase just like that. So completely up to you and it's very easy to use. All you have to do is just swipe up or down to navigate the volume on these AirPods, which is super convenient. And also if you wanna to skip to the next track, all you have to do is just double click the stem twice, just like this. And you're gonna see it takes me to the next song. And say you wanna go back a track instead of going forward, all you have to do is click the stem three times, just like this. And it's going to take me to the previous song just like that. So if you want to go forward in a track, just click it twice. And if you want to go back, just click it three times. So the first option we have in noise control is noise cancellation. So basically, if I turn this on, what's going to happen is all external sound not coming from the AirPods is going to be completely blocked out. And they do an exceptional job of doing this. I can't hear anything besides the audio that I'm listening to through my AirPods when I have noise cancellation turned on. And all you have to do is click this right here. So now what you have to do is just place both in your ear at the moment. And then after you do that, noise cancellation is going to be turned on and you won't be able to hear anything coming from externally outside your AirPods so you can listen to your audio in a more clear way. Now, say you don't want external noise to be completely blocked out while you're using these AirPods Pro, you can turn on transparency mode too. And basically what transparency mode does is if you place these both in your ear at the moment, what's going to happen is you're still going to be able to hear external noises and the audio that you're listening to. But if someone's speaking to you and you, they want to get your attention, you'll be able to hear them with noise cancellation, that won't be true. But if you turn on transparency, just put them both in your ear, click this icon right here. And now you're gonna be able to hear everything that's going on around you in addition to the audio that you're listening to at the moment. So this is completely up to you. We have noise cancellation, transparency mode or off. So depending on the moment in time and your preference, you can choose whichever option works for you with these new AirPod Pro second generations. Right here, if you look at settings, you're gonna see we also have this press and hold stem of the AirPods section where you can actually hold down the stem of the AirPods to activate different commands. So right now, for example, I have the right one in my ear at the moment. And if I hold it down, it's gonna between off and transparency mode. So I'm gonna hold down right now and I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen as I'm holding it down. You're gonna see it's gonna to go to off and right here, just to double check that, you can go to noise control on the right AirPod and you're gonna see these options you can choose from right here. Then alternatively, if I put the left one in my ear, it's gonna to toggle between off and noise cancellation. So right now it's off, but if I hold it down just like this, you're gonna see it goes to noise cancellation instead. Then if I hold it down again, it's gonna go back to off. So now you can edit these commands in this section right here. So if you want the left one to activate different commands, you can choose between noise control, which I just showed you, or Siri. And right here on noise control, you can check which ones you want on or off. So if I check off or uncheck transparency right now, now whenever I hold down that right AirPod, what's gonna happen, it's gonna to toggle between noise cancellation and off mode. Then it's similar to the right one. If I go to right, I can choose which ones I wanna check on or off. And and now it's going to talk between those as well. And say you want to customize it so your right AirPod actually activates Siri rather than changes the noise modes, you can go to the right AirPod right here and just click on Siri instead. And now what happens when I hold down my AirPod on my right one, you're going to see that it's going to contact Siri just like this. 
And now Siri is going to pop up and I can ask her and ask any information that I like and receive that right through my AirPod Pros in my right one. And next we have spatial audio. So last year, Apple released the AirPod third generations, which are our standard model. They're not the pros. And these ones actually gave spatial audio as an option. So basically what this means, if you weren't aware, every time you turn your head, the sound's going to follow you in that direction. So it gives you a 3D experience. So much when you're in a movie theater, you hear the sound coming at you from all directions. So whenever you turn your head, it's actually gonna follow you in that specific direction. So I wanna show you how this works and you can personalize this, but first we're gonna click see and hear how it works right here. So basically what spatial audio says, it's gonna experience immersive three-dimensional sound that follows the movement of your iPhone for supported audio and videos. So right now we're in stereo audio, which is the standard mode you listen to with other AirPods. So basically it's just gonna come at you in the normal direction, not when you tilt your head or move your iPhone. But if we turn on spatial audio, as you can see, whenever you move your phone or your head, you're gonna see that that sound follows you so let's turn it right here like this and now you're going to hear the sounds coming at you from all directions obviously you can't hear this since i'm just showing you this video but if you did you'd see it's coming at you in all directions and then once that's good you can press done right here and you can also personalize your spatial audio so i'm not going to dive into too much detail since we have all of our own ear sizes and they're all different but basically what happens if we click on this right here and click personalize spatial audio What's going to happen is you can actually use your iPhone's camera to personalize spatial audio for the specific shape of your own ears, which makes it very convenient and modeled specifically to your ear size. So let's click continue right here. I'm not going to dive into too much, but you're going to want to take the AirPods out of your ears to continue. So like I said, I'm not going to dive into too much because everyone varies in ear size, but basically what you do with the iPhone's camera is you position your face in front of the camera frame, then move your head in a circle to show all angles of your face. And after you do the front of your face, it's going to ask you to do the side of your face where your ears are, and you're going to do the exact same thing and after that the apple airpods are going to calculate a great way to personalize your spatial audio depending on your ear size which is super cool and convenient for your ear size depending on what that is so i definitely recommend trying this out when you get the chance it's hard to show you right here through this video but definitely try that when you get the chance but i also want to show you one last feature you can use with your airpods pro with the new update ios 16 on your iphone which i think is super cool so if we exit out of the control center i already showed you i can create a widget right here on on the home screen of my iPhone that shows the percentage of my AirPods and their case. And I'm sure all of you know how to create a widget on your home screen, but now with iOS 16, you can actually add widgets to your lock screen as well. And right here off the bat, you can see that I have a widget for my AirPods case that shows the battery percentage of that at the moment. If you click customize right here, you're gonna see you can choose from tons of widgets right here in this add widget section. I already have my AirPods case percentage, battery percentage right here. But say for example, I wanna remove this right here and add this AirPods case right here. I can just click that. And now it's gonna show how much battery I have left on my AirPods case at the moment. And after that, you can click done right here. And now that's gonna show on the lock screen of your iPhone. And as I already mentioned, if you go in, you're also gonna see the battery percentage of your AirPods themselves, the left and the right one right here. So this is a good way to show how much battery is left on your AirPods. And if you need to charge them soon, or if you're good for a few more hours. So this is how you can edit those with the iOS 16 update. Just make sure you're updated to iOS 16 to access this feature. I hope you enjoyed today's video. These are the best tips, tricks, and hidden features for the new iPhone 14 and iOS 16. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button for more great content like this. I also encourage you to go to appfindvip.com and subscribe to our email newsletter to get the best mobile apps and games delivered directly to your email inbox. Also, go give us a follow at Fine VIP, which is our Instagram account where we share the best tips, tricks, and hidden features on all iPhone 14 content, Android, and other Apple products. And I also encourage you guys to go to bestrewardsapps.com to see all these incredible apps like Quick Thoughts and Rakuten that allow you to earn incredible rewards and prizes right at your fingertips. These are all affiliates of ours and they're all great apps that are worth checking out. So definitely check out all these links, you guys. They're going to be in the description of this video. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.